Welcome back to the Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a war film called, Snipers. Spoilers incoming. The movie starts with the 5th squad hiding underneath the snow. They can't be seen but the voice of their leader, Sergeant Liu, is loud. The squad watches over a convoy of American soldiers. The sergeant then counts down before the rest of the squad start to shoot at the convoy, killing most of the soldiers. The Chinese soldiers then emerge from the snow, wearing white cloaks that helps them hide better. Sergeant Liu then spots an American soldier taking hold of the machine gun on one of the vehicles and yells at his men to get down. They follow suit and Liu takes aim before shooting the American soldier straight on the head. In the American's base, the soldiers are preparing their weapons to head out. A higher ranking officer named Williams passes by and asks them who ordered them to do so. One of them points to one of the tents. Williams enters the tents and finds an unconscious Chinese soldier in a bag while an American soldier named John is cleaning his bullets and preparing his rifle. Williams also calls him out for trying to track down Sergeant Liu, who's been dubbed as the Grim Reaper, and that John wants the fame for being able to kill Liu. John then tells Williams that the American Congress wants the soldiers to capture Sergeant Liu alive and berates the officer for trying to barge in their mission. In the Chinese camp, Dayong is trying to help Chubby decide a name for his child, though they don't agree on anything. Chubby gets offended when Dayong boasts about his education and tells him that his education doesn't matter because Chubby has more kills during the war. Dayong then says that he knows he'll have a better kill rate if he had Sergeant Liu's binoculars, which is the only pair the entire squad has. He tries to ask Sergeant Liu's nephew if he thinks Dayong can use the binoculars one day but the nephew tells him that he should have it first. The sergeant then arrives and tells them that two of their intelligence officers have been attacked. The fifth squad has been assigned to retrieve them, dead or alive. Dayong asks who the intelligence officers are but the sergeant doesn't answer him. Instead, he tells Dayong that he'll be staying to have an interview on behalf of the sergeant since he's the educated one in the unit and therefore the fitting one to represent them. During the interview, the reporters are disappointed that they can't interview Sergeant Liu himself. Dayong also answers poorly and asks the captain if his friend Liang was one of the intelligence officers they were supposed to get back. The captain says yes and eventually allows him to follow after the fifth squad. They arrive at the site and see numerous corpses. The sergeant eventually finds Liang and since he couldn't see any danger yet, he sends the men forward to collect the bodies. They climb down the hill and start to drag Liang's body. Sergeant Liu then takes his binoculars and spot a flash from the trenches, which makes him immediately yell at the soldiers to get down. It's too late for some as they get shot down by John's team of American snipers, who were hiding behind the trench all along and were using Liang's body as bait. The remaining soldiers of the 5th squad start to hide behind the rocks. One of the Chinese soldiers asks for a first aid kit to help a fellow soldier who's been shot. Sergeant Liu warns him not to move but he doesn't listen and Dayong tries to throw the kit at him. He gets shot and drops dead. The sergeant then tells Dayong to look for muzzle flashes using a large metallic spoon. While he does this, Sergeant Liu rolls down the hill and the rest open fire on the Americans. Sergeant Liu then tells Dayong and his nephew to run towards the trench. The other soldiers start to shoot again as a distraction while the sergeant manages to kill one of the American snipers. Once behind the trenches, Sergeant Liu angrily scolds Dayong for throwing the first aid kit earlier and blames him for the death of the soldier. Dayong starts to cry and the sergeant scolds him again. They then see a North Korean boy looking at the different bodies scattered in the field before finding Liang. He starts to drag Liang but is then distracted and coerced by the Americans to approach their trench. Meanwhile, Chubby suggests that he climb down from their trench while having a large metal plate strapped on his back to act as a shield. Sergeant Liu instructs him to tie Liang's body with a rope so they can pull him to the trench. Chubby starts his descent and the American snipers start to shoot on the metal plate. Although Chubby stumbles for a few times, he doesn't immediately fall. He then sees the corpse of one of his fellow soldiers in the squad and promises to take him back too after he retrieves Liang. John then shoots the ropes tied to Chubby and the metal plate, forcing Chubby to hold on the plate with his bare hands. The American then shoots both of his hands causing the metal plate to fall down and expose Chubby. Chubby then yells quickly to Dayong that he figured out now that he wants his child to be named, Iron, before John shoots him on the head. He later on comments that Chubby was a brave kid. 
the North Korean boy emerges from the American trenches and goes back to where Liang is. He injects Liang with a liquid that Sergeant Liu identifies as adrenaline that keeps him awake and alive. Liang stirs awake and the boy asks him if he's going to die. He answers that he is and asks the boy to lie down beside him. The boy eventually gets up and leaves. Sergeant Liu's nephew asks him how many Americans there were and he says that there's seven of them and that they already got one. He then asks the soldiers to check their ammo and reminds them to conserve it. He tells two of his men, one of them being his nephew, to go 20 meters north and do their puppet trick. He then orders Daeong to go 40 meters north to watch out for any muzzle flashes and to shoot them if he sees any. Before he leaves, the sergeant tells him that Daeong has the sharpest eyes in the squad and if he uses them properly, then he'll be better than the sergeant. One of the soldiers assigned to do the puppet trick asks if he can wear his gloves because he feels cold. Sergeant Liu faintly smiles and tells him that he knows that he's wearing the gloves because he misses his wife. He lets him wear it and sends them off. The Americans spot the two Chinese soldiers performing the puppet trick and simply thinks that they're trying to dig deeper in their trench. John assigns two of his men to spread out and aim at the hand of whoever's digging. Meanwhile, Daeyong and Sergeant Liu are taking aim at the American snipers that spread out. As they shoot the puppet, Daeyong and the sergeant shoots two of them down. John then watches the two Chinese soldiers leave and shoots an explosive near their path, causing an explosion. The remaining members of the 5th squad find the two. One of them is already dead while Sergeant Liu's nephew is alive by dying. His nephew says that he can't feel his legs and they look down to see that they've been blown off. Sergeant Liu tries to assure him that he'll be fine although he dies seconds later. He covers his nephew's face as Daeyong starts to rant about how the Chinese soldiers have nothing compared to the Americans have better weapons than them. The sergeant scolds him for his negative thinking and yells at Daeyong to come with him. The two of them observe the enemy trenches and find one of them drinking. They shoot the cup and the American sniper quickly springs into action. They manage to shoot the sniper dead and he falls back down to where the other three Americans are. The two of them go back to where their last remaining companion named Lauer is and they check on Liang, who is almost losing consciousness. Sergeant Liu notes that the adrenaline is wearing off. He then tells them to yell loudly to try and keep Liang awake. They eventually sing a patriotic song. Meanwhile, one of the American snipers muses how he wishes he knew what the Chinese soldiers were singing about before he notices that their other companion, Nate, was starting to pack a bag. Nate angrily tells them that this mission was a mistake and that he doesn't want to participate in it any longer. Jack pins him down and tells him that if Nate leaves, then he'll make sure he gets executed for not following orders from his superior officer. They then use the loudspeaker to tell Sergeant Liu that they want him alive in exchange for Liang. The sergeant agrees and instructs Lauer to come with him to take Liang back and to not bring any guns. Daeyong tries to protest but Sergeant Liu orders him to stay behind, giving him his binoculars and metallic spoon. Sergeant Liu and Lauer start to walk towards the Americans. The two of them are eventually told to stop and John orders the sergeant to surrender first. Sergeant Liu however insists that they take Liang first before he comes closer. John agrees. Lauer crouches down and carries Liang behind his back. Sergeant Liu steps closer to the American's trenches when suddenly, Lauer gets shot in the leg. The sergeant detonates a grenade and throws himself inside the trench, taking down Nate with him. The other two American soldiers survive and start to patch themselves. Daeyong throws one end of the rope towards Lauer to help him get back with Liang's body. Williams contacts John and tells him that Liang was an intelligence officer carrying important intel, so they can't let him go. John then shoots Lauer on the back, killing him. Liang rips off a piece of his bandage and uses his blood to write something down. William sees this and orders John to stop him from sending a message but still keeping him alive. The sniper then shoots Liang on his hand and arm before the rest of the American soldiers take him away in a stretcher. While being carried away, Liang uses the syringe from earlier and injects air into his chest. Daeyong then starts to shoot the soldiers one by one. Williams gets angry and starts to rant at John, who starts to aim at him but doesn't shoot. The artillery arrives and they fire explosives and machine guns at the hill to try and finish off Daeyong. Daeyong survives and aims for Williams while he shouts orders, he manages to shoot the American dead just as the North Korean boy arrives again. The boy finds Liang and cries once seeing that he's already dead. 
John then asks for a tank and takes the boy so they could get away from being punished because they let Liang die. Dayong shoots some gas explosives in front of the tank's path, making them stop. The two American snipers see Dayong and use the tank's weapons to open fire on him. Dayong starts shooting the glass on the tank, destroying every corner that they could look at the outside, before he shot down. John's fellow sniper opens the top door of the tank to peek out and Dayong takes a chance to fire a shot, managing to kill the American. John leaves the tank and hides underneath just as Dayong crawls behind a rock with his side bleeding. Dayong then tries to throw an explosive towards him but he fails to throw it far enough. John props up his gun and places his helmet on a pile of snow as a decoy. He starts to taunt Dayong while he moves to another side and uses another gun to aim at him. Dayong takes out Sergeant Lu's metallic spoon and ties it to his shoe. He then takes it to find out where John exactly is. John aims for the spoon and takes a shot, while Dayong aims for him directly and manages to shoot him in the head, killing him. He takes back the spoon and places it back in his pocket. He then goes to John's corpse and starts to search his pockets, where he finds the news article featuring Sergeant Lu. Dayong then climbs the tank and quickly unties the boy before asking him if he has any candy. It's revealed that the words Liang had written earlier in his blood were, child, and, candy. The boy points to his hair, where Liang had placed the candy back when the two of them were lying down on the snow together. Dayong then breaks the candy apart and finds a small piece of paper inside. The two of them start to escape and climb up the hill, where they're met by the captain along with more Chinese soldiers. Dayong hands the paper to the captain, which apparently contained the Americans' plans to attack the Chinese army. With the intel, the Chinese troops were able to ambush the attacks and push the Americans for a negotiation. Dayong tells the captain that Liang and the rest of the 5th squad were gone. The captain tells them that he knows and that he and his men had already retrieved their bodies. Dayong then asks him if they found Sergeant Liu but the captain answers that they only found his hat. He then lifts the binoculars hanging around Dayong's neck and brushes the snow off as Dayong starts to cry. The captain tells him to stop as Sergeant Liu wouldn't want to see him cry again. Dayong starts to lament that Sergeant Liu and the entire 5th squad is gone. The captain assures him that the 5th squad is still there. The movie ends as the captain calls out the names of the fallen members of the 5th squad, with other soldiers responding. He then calls Dayong, before calling on Sergeant Liu and the 5th squad itself, which all the soldiers respond to. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.